This thing came from outer space. Yeah, it's a meteorite. A real meteorite. This one impacted the Earth around one million years ago as a part of a huge cluster of fireballs. Now let's make it rain. So an enormous asteroid made out of iron had after four and a half billion years of floating around peacefully in space entered the Earth's atmosphere at 40,000 kilometers an hour and due to the enormous friction of the air it broke into a thousand pieces that, now on fire, rained down on the northern part of Sweden. For four ice ages these chunks of metal sat in the ground undisturbed until one day a guy with a shovel and a metal detector found this particular piece. For the past two years I've been making and selling custom rings on my website made from meteorites from this impact. Since the meteorite is made mostly from iron and nickel, it's possible to shape using normal tools made from metal. However, it can be very difficult to work with this material and this is due to small inclusions of different materials hiding inside of it. And also there can be micro cracks running through it. So the ring <laughs> can explode while you work on it, uh, which is uh, exciting. Uh, you get a feel for uh, how to avoid this uh, over time though. To minimize the amount of material lost, I use a jeweler saw with a super thin blade. It takes about 8 hours and around 20 blades to cut one ring this way, but I think it's worth it. Because it's a finite resource and I really want to be respectful and waste as little as I can. This way I can also turn the center portion of the ring into another piece of jewelry, like a necklace, which someone can enjoy rather than it being turned into shavings. Also, sometimes I get small pieces like this left over, and I thought this is a great opportunity to have a giveaway. So at the end of the video, I'll share the details on how you can enter to win one of these. But how can we know this is really a genuine meteorite? That's one of the most amazing things about this particular type of meteorite. You can tell by etching the surface with an acid. When you do, a unique pattern like this appears. It's called the wide man's iron pattern, and apart from being absolutely gorgeous, it's almost impossible to fake. Because it only forms when ridiculously hot iron nickel alloys are cooled down extremely slowly in zero gravity. We're talking about cooling down one degree Celsius per thousand years. One of the nickel alloys can under these circumstances form large octahedron shaped crystals like this. A lot of these crystals form and they overlap and vary in size. So if you cut a structure like this into a two dimensional plane it looks like crisscrossing lines that catch the light in different ways and it's absolutely gorgeous. The nickel to iron ratio along with the cooling time is what determines the size of these crystals, which makes it possible for even an untrained eye to see the difference between different meteorites. The meteorites I use are the Mununula Lusta, which has a pretty fine pattern, which is fantastic for making rings, and compare this to the Canyon Diablo, which has a pretty coarse pattern, as you can see here. So it takes around a million years to create this pattern, and it needs zero gravity, which makes it pretty much impossible to reproduce, or it's very impractical. Which is why we can tell beyond reasonable doubt that this is indeed a genuine meteorite.
On top of being from outer space, this thing is really cool because it's super, super old. In fact, it's 20 million years older than the Earth. Yeah, 20 million. I know what you're thinking, like, mm -mm, how can you know that? Well, let me tell you. These meteorites contain a small amount of lead, and when lead solidifies at 300 degrees Celsius, some of that lead forms radioactive isotopes. When they break down over a very, very, very long time, they form different types of lead. And by measuring the different ratios of different kinds of lead, you can determine with great accuracy the age of an item. And by cross-referencing that with these dating techniques, we can determine that this meteorite dropped below 300 degrees Celsius 4,565,300,000 years ago. And this is with an accuracy of 0.002%. This makes this meteorite one of the oldest formed solids in our solar system. If you plan on getting a meteorite ring, I highly recommend getting a liner of some sort. There's a few different reasons for this. The first one being that it prevents rust from forming. Your skin produces oils and it's slightly acidic. Also, sweat contains salt. All of these increases the chances of rust forming and also the speed at which it grows. The second reason is that it reduces the chance of nickel exposure. Even though you always put on a protective coating of some sort, either wax or a lacquer, these, if not properly maintained, can wear down. And that could lead to nickel exposure, which over time can lead to intolerance or even an allergy. The chance of a liner wearing all the way down is uh, pretty minimal though. The third reason is that it makes the ring a little bit more comfortable to wear. A meteorite, when it's etched, has a slight texture to it, as compared to a liner which is completely smooth. I'll be adding a silver liner to this ring, which for me is very exciting because I just recently started offering these. Working with silver is very different compared to carbon fiber, which is the only material I previously offered on the site. If you have pre-made carbon fiber, the only thing you can do to shape it is to remove material. Whereas silver, you can stretch and you can solder it and you can shape it with hammers and pull on it. It's really a lot of fun and it requires a lot of different skills. You can also engrave silver, which is a huge plus. To celebrate the release of the silver liner, we will include free engraving and have a special offer for a limited time only. So head over to buyvindestal.com and get your unique ring from space now.
The reason why this amazing wide man stern pattern emerges when you etch a meteorite like this is because the different iron nickel alloys takes different amount of time to dissolve in the acid. A problem with iron meteorites is that they can rust and the acid we use to etch makes this even worse as even a little tiny bit left in a crack will over time attack and corrode the metal. To prevent this from happening I'm using a super secret mixture which transforms the acid into a substance that actually prevents rust from forming. I then put the ring into a microcrystalline wax that has been brought up to 110 degrees celsius. As water boils at 100 degrees celsius, any water left in any crack or pore in the ring will boil off and be replaced by this super protective microcrystalline wax. The particles in this wax are so small that they actually penetrate into the metal and basically becomes a part of it. It makes a crazy good barrier that helps prevent nickel exposure and rust from forming. Well, time for beauty shots! I just absolutely love being able to hand this ring to people that I meet and tell them this came from outer space. It's the oldest thing that you will ever touch and it's 20 million years older than the earth that you're currently standing on. And they go like, ooh -ah! And I go like, mm-hmm. Let me tell you about it. And then I get to blow their minds with this story. Oh, I just love it so much. Okay, I have one more thing I want to show you. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, that might have been a little bit over the top, I admit, but I think it showed off that I can uh, engrave silver really nicely. I use a fiber laser, which means that I can do both text and graphics, which is pretty fantastic. The laser is actually so powerful that it evaporates the silver, so you get a really nice deep etch. Now let's talk about the giveaway. You have the chance to win one of these, except I'll make it look nicer by finding six hidden letters in this video. I placed them a little bit here and there and they look kind of like this. When you found all of them, head to the link in the description and enter all your details to uh, enter the drawing. Hey, if you have a friend that you want to give a crazy mind trip to, please share this video with them. Okay, that's it for now. David out.